welcome back to the channel. I am in Joshua Tree National Forest today, and um, I can't tell you how fortunate I feel to be able to paint here. It's just like, uh, I don't know, you know where I'm from, where I've been living for 20 years, and so to be here this time of year in such a beautiful surrounding is just absolutely incredible. And I'm uh, really, really fortunate today. I was able to hook up with, um, I don't know if you can see him walking back there, uh, Michael Chamberlain and uh, uh, Araya Miles. They, uh, I saw on uh, I saw on Michael's um, channel that he was going to be headed out here, so we connected and uh, and got hooked up. And um, we're going to paint. We've been trying to we've been trying to figure out exactly what it is we want to do here. Um, there's a lot to like about this particular view, and we're trying to figure out how to set these Joshua trees off uh from the background and um there's like yucca and choya and there's like all of these different uh types of cactus around but if you just take a look at this uh this landscape in general it's um i don't know it's just <laughs> i guess i'm on sensory overload man i just every direction i look it's uh it's it's uh it's just incredible so Anyway, they went back to the car to get their gear, and uh, I'm going to check in with them whenever they get started and see how uh, things are going. I think Michael's going to probably be right here behind me, and uh, Miles probably over to my right here. But we're going to pick something out and, and um, go for it. So, all right, uh, I will uh, uh, get set up, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so I got a sketch going, and I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out um, the difference between these cool shadows and some of the warm shadows, um, and exactly what I'm going to use to mix those. Um, and I needed to keep track of the uh, center of my canvas, so I don't. Uh, I think it, the weight of this was getting too close to the center, so I had to shift it over a little bit, so it's not. And then all of this comes into the foreground here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to lay some, lay some color on here to really start to grasp this and I, maybe this just needs to come up even a little bit higher at this peak here, and, except I think this peak should probably be over here, so. So if I get those shadows right to start with, I should be okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try some uh, ultramarine blue and a little bit of uh, orange, transparent orange oxide, and see how that looks here.
something over here bothering Michael. <laughs> I was no, curious it's, it's how he got all. Yeah. how he got started. Um, he was uh, just telling me about how eventually there's so much bouncing light between all these mountains that the the blues back there kind of get lost and sort of take on the almost a sunset color, right? Like a yellow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it was like that the for some reason the shadows yeah which when we first start out it seems blue but the light is changing so quickly and then yeah it just later in the day everything gets this orange glow to it and it even works its way into the shadows so yeah you don't get that like the clear definition you have uh you know right now kind of will disappear a bit i'm gonna take that as a tip and uh, go, go knock that out yeah <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, of All right, so these shadow colors are too cool for this whole formation. We've been talking a lot uh, between Michael and myself about this, uh, uh, these shadows, how they are sort of taking on this warmth. Uh, which is not super easy to deal with, but um, I think I've got to go to a, to a gray and then shift it to blue, so I'm going to I'm going to mix some uh, some permanent orange and some some blue ultramarine blue and then I'll bring that color down but I got some green in there so that's probably okay cuz then I'm going to come back in with bro I'm getting atmosphere <laughs> 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 yeah, great light on that. Cool. Let me just get in close. Let me get all up in your business here. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, that looks great. Now I got to get something done with this foreground before I have all this paint back there that I can't do anything with. Yeah, that's. <laughs> the, I'm in the same situation. I'm like, I've got to do the foreground in the trees. And yeah. I was just telling Araya, I'm nervous. It's like I always used to get nervous watching uh, Bob Ross when he's like, all right, I'm going to drop a tree in here. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go do. Drop oh, and a tree. it's gonna be like a, uh, it's gonna be like an exercise in counter change because it's just like this has got to be set off and from that and when you get down here it's got to be set up from this lower value. Oh right, to get separation yeah. with this tree from the background. Yeah. I know. So what I did was I just I I exaggerate like I lightened 
this background artificially yeah. to try to get that separation. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Okay. I'm like just, maybe your your shadows back there? You... Yeah. So like my shadows, even though like you can see here, they appear very Contrast, dark. Yeah. But what I did with the background mountain was I just lightened the value of the whole thing. Lightened the lights, lightened the darks to push it back. Okay. So that I'd get some of that separation. So I'd get the trees in the foreground to separate. Yeah, but it's all just an experiment you. at this point. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, there's nothing like uh, when you got the gun to your head and the light's going down. I know. Oh, you can <laughs> And you're see trying it. to get a painting. Yeah, look at that. There you can see. What it, I'd estimate that's probably yeah. another 35 minutes, 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. But the cool thing is, yeah, the pressure makes you work fast, but also once it settles down below, you can do your cleanup. It's nicely like, okay. light for kind of cleanup and touch up. So you look like you're going to be fine there because you're, you're well on your way. All, all right. Let's get back to work. Oh yeah, that looks nice, man. You definitely found a way to separate things. I had a lot of trouble yesterday and I vowed to keep things somewhat apart. This might be one of the more challenging subjects I've painted. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Um, I wanted to put like, when we were doing, the sun was just going down, I wanted to put like a little orange strip of light through the middle here, like a real bright one. And I might still try to do it, but. Okay. That could be do or die, I think. Do or die. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a few more minutes here and finish this thing up. Um, this, uh, there were um, a lot of challenges. It was, it was very, very difficult. So different from what I'm used to uh, painting. I'm not surprised. I mean, um, 
I'm used to grays and purples and uh, distant tree lines and uh, things like that this time of year and uh, this is really good for me though to step out and paint something like this. I, I think this should have been redder um, instead of this yellow color and I'm not exactly sure. I tried mixing a couple different things with a little lizard and crimson and I just couldn't quite get it right. Um, so I have to work on that. Uh, but the separation between the trees and the background uh, re required some interesting things as well and I think these probably need to be darker um, so I'm just gonna real quickly mix up something and create those a little bit darker and go from there so and then I'll be uh, I think that'll probably be it for this for now so all right here we go So I'm going to stop there before I uh, com completely destroy this painting. Um, anyway, let me see if uh, there's enough light for you to see uh, what I've got here. Um, you know, I can't complain about this. Uh, for a uh, first attempt at a desert scene like this, I'm not so... Uh, I'm not hating it. And uh, Michael's getting his B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Hey, you're stealing my content. <laughs> stealing your content, that's right. <laughs> and that's a good time. But Man, it just... Sky now. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. All right, so, um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me today uh, out here in uh, Joshua Tree National Park. And I really do, uh, really do appreciate your time um, that you spend in front of your device, your phone, or your computer watching me paint and just kind of exploring my surroundings and how how cool it was to get to uh, hook up with Michael today and and paint with him and Aria so I hope you enjoyed it and um, as always man I'll catch you later